There are two main types of market analysis. Firstly, fundamental analysis, which looks at what is driving the price movement. And secondly, technical analysis, which looks at the chart, using what happened in the past as a way of predicting how the market may behave in the future. Technical analysis focuses solely on the price action of a market and not the why behind the move. Traders often fall into the fundamental or the technical trader category. Fundamental and technical analysis can be used independently of each other or combined in a hybrid form of trading which can provide a more balanced view of the market. Technical analysis is based on the idea that what happened in the past on the chart can be used to predict how it will perform in the future. Technical traders study charts, the historic price action. They look at patterns and trends on those charts to understand the behavior of the market and predict where the price could go. For example, a technical trader might notice that if a stock keeps falling to 100 pence and then rising straight away, a technical trader might place an order to buy the shares next time the price dips to 100. This level here could be considered a support level. So let's take a closer look at support and resistance. Support and resistance are a key part of technical analysis. So much so that many strategies can be developed using support and resistance. The best way to think about support is it's the floor under the market and resistance is the ceiling. Support and resistance levels exist because of the number of buyers or sellers. When there are more buyers, the price rises and when there are more sellers, the price falls. The support and resistance levels are the turning points. The support is the level at which after falling, buyers see the stock as cheap enough and overtake sellers, lifting the price. The resistance is the level at which the stock has become too expensive and sellers overtake buyers. In order to plot support on a chart, find the level that the price hasn't been able to break below and that is a support. Similarly, to plot a resistance, look for the levels which the price has struggled to move above. It's worth keeping in mind that these support and resistance levels are rarely exact figures, but more like support or resistance zones. It's also worth keeping in mind that support and resistance levels don't hold forever, but you might get a breakout. And this is when the share price manages to break down that support or resistance level, opening the door to steeper gains or losses. Whilst markets definitely don't move in straight lines, they do tend to move in a trend. This could be an uptrend, which is identified by a series of higher highs and higher lows. A downtrend, which is a series of lower lows and lower highs. Finally, there's also sideways trend. And this is where the price tends to bounce between a support level and a resistance level in a relatively narrow range. So to plot on a chart, simply join two major highs or two major lows, as you can see here. The lines which join these points often act as support and resistance trend lines. And remember, it takes two points to make a trend line, but it takes three to confirm it. Now, you might have heard that famous trading adage, the trend is your friend. The idea being that the trend should continue. An uptrend is expected to remain above its rising trend line. A fall below the support could be considered a breakout. Many traders will look to trade the trend. Trend traders aim to catch the majority of the move rather than the exact top and bottom, which can be very difficult to define. In this introduction, we've introduced you to what technical analysis is, the idea of support and resistance levels, trends and trend lines. These ideas should help you to start looking at charts more closely and understand how you can use them. Moving on from here, it's worth considering chart patterns, candlestick patterns and indicators that you could use to help form your strategy. Now here at Atlantic, we provide a full advisory service. You'll have a fully qualified investment advisor by your side every step of the way. Essentially, if you have any stock market headaches or just want a second opinion on a share that you're watching, please don't hesitate to contact us.